We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. July 20th, the 45th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. It was a huge event in this man's life. Seeing them coming out of the capsule and walking on the moon. Whoa! It's amazing. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What a day that was. 45 years ago this year, an American walked on the moon and inspired not just our nation, but the world. For me, it's it just, it's been an inspiration in my life. I still actually have the original newspaper. Going to space is a big deal. Walking on the moon is literally walking on the moon. Congratulations to the entire Apollo 11 crew for your daring and historic accomplishment 45 years ago. Hi, I'm Buzz Aldrin. You most likely know me as the astronaut from Gemini 12 and Apollo 11. I consider myself a global statesman for space, so I spend most of my time traveling the country and the world to remind people what NASA and our space program has accomplished and what is still in our future at Mars. I feel we need to remind the world about the Apollo missions and that we can still do impossible things. The whole world celebrated our moon landing, but we missed the whole thing because we were out of town. So now I invite you to share with me and the world your story or your family's story of where you were on July 20th, 1969. Or feel free to tell me how the Apollo missions inspired you. You can record your story on your smartphone or tablet and we'll post them on a special YouTube page devoted to the Apollo 11 45th anniversary. Kids, help your parents if they don't know how to use their smartphone. Get them to tell you their memory or just share your story on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And don't forget to use the hashtag Apollo45. I look forward to hearing from you. I was a young man um, when we watched the moon landing on a little black and white TV set in, a, in our living room. And I remember watching and being emotionally stirred over this incredible feat. We have done it. We have put a man on the moon. I was five years old. And my mom swears she got me up and she put me in front of the TV with my other 10 brothers and sisters. And we were jumping in and out of the pool, uh, getting updates every, I would say, every three to five minutes. Did something happen? You know, how close are they? Did they walk yet? I remember being mesmerized by Buzz's call outs of the altitude and the forward speed and the sink speed. It was definitely a very, very exciting moment for myself as a young man and uh, my uh, friends. I knew immediately that it was the most exciting thing that I had ever seen. I was only five at the time. US one Sputnik nothing. <laughs> I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the men and the women, men and women that supported that program, namely the technicians, the engineers, and the operational support staff. Thank you, Neil, Buzz, and Mike. We're standing on your shoulders, building on your historic achievements. Congratulations, man. Hey. Congratulations, Buzz. Happy 45th anniversary, sir. Not only am I incredibly in admiration of what you've done, but there's a lot of other people in the world, and I just want to show you. <laughs>